Hi guys, Yagi here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I want to introduce myself. We have a lot of new subscribers, so yay, thank you for that. I'm Yegi. I'm a master lash artist and educator. have been in this industry for like 12 plus years, and um, I own my own product line, academy, all that good stuff. So everything eyelash extensions, that's the only thing I specialize in. Well, I do some coaching for the beauty industry too, but that's pretty much my focus but what are we really here for today we're gonna do a full detailed hybrid eyelash extension style in this video this is actually the part two because it was so much information to share about the hybrid style of eyelashes for beginners in order to give you guys all the details that i can part one covered all the prepping taping um how to consult with the client how to pick the eyelashes and um, how to do the mapping so after that if you're good on all of that you can skip that part but if you really want to see that go watch that part one first before you continue on this one if not then this part two is going to actually cover the actual application of the hybrid set so you'll see the mapping we've already done it and we're going to go ahead and apply the classic eyelashes first then we will apply the easy fanning volume lashes with the little green highlights after that we'll do the handmade not easy fanning so you guys get to see all the techniques um lashes and we will fill those in between to give you the nice full hybrid set so i hope you enjoyed this video ask any questions that you may have i try to give you guys as much as i can but i know you guys should have questions so make sure to ask it's very very important here's the mapping and all the notes of the products that we're going to use to do this hybrid set but in summary, we're gonna do a cat eye. We're gonna use two separate volume lashes. One, the easy fanning one, which will be the colored green lashes, which will be the highlights in there. And then the rest will be the handmade fans, which we use the um, uh, Yegi Vegan Mink eyelashes in the 0 0.03 thickness. And they're gonna be mostly D curl. Only the green lashes, we're gonna put C curl so they stand out a little bit more in their highlights. The ratio for this hybrid set is 25% classic and about 75% volume. Now you can choose to do 50-50, so it could be half classic, half volume, but we chose to do mostly volume and just a little bit classic to get a fuller look. We're going to start off by applying the classic ones first, all throughout the eye, both eyes, and then we'll go back and fill in the volume. So if it takes me a while to isolate while well, I already have my extension right here with the glue ready, I definitely want to throw that one away and grab a new one because at that point the glue is probably too dry for it to bond well with the extension. And of course our goal is when we're isolating to only get one natural lash between our tweezers. And we can help ourselves with this hand to isolate as I'm doing, um, especially uh, for the classic. Okay, let's pause the video right here. I want you guys to look at where this extension is placed. If you look at the root where the natural eyelash is growing out of, you can see that it's probably like three or four millimeters away from the skin. And that's a little bit too far of where we're gluing it. But keep in mind, it's better for it to be glued further from the skin compared to touching the skin. So in the beginning, as you're going and as you're gluing, if you can't get super close to the skin, that's okay. Just try to not touch the skin. But our goal is to be able to get as close as possible with practice and persistence um, without touching the skin. So the less gap you see, the longer the eyelashes will last. Now that it looks about... 
I'm gonna say like 25% of her lashes have extensions on them. Um, maybe I can add a couple more out here, but these are all the classics, okay? So the classic is one to one, so one extension on one of her natural lashes. This is when I'm gonna start applying the volumes. So as we were, you know, lashing, I asked her, she has this cool bluish green hair <laughs> on one side. I asked her if she wanted to add some color. She said yes. So if I'm ever going to add some highlights or some pop of color in her um, lashes for the volume, I'm going to add that before I do the rest of it. So then I can place them exactly where I want to place them. And then whatever eyelashes are left, then those I will fill in with the rest of the regular black extensions, right? So I'm gonna grab the colorful lashes and it's gonna be again in the same length, so the lengths match. And I'm gonna put those in, spreading them out throughout her eye is one option, or just doing some in the outer corner. So kind of like the wing part of her cat eye. So which do you prefer? We can do it throughout the whole. Okay, eye. it's still gonna be subtle, like mm -hmm. they're gonna pop in from the bottom, so for cool highlights, but okay, we'll do throughout. And anytime I'm grabbing lashes or moving things around, I do like to put down my tweezers and my glue, and you guys should make a habit of that because that's, you know, that's to avoid any accidents so we don't poke our clients or we don't spill glue on their hair. So now that I'm gonna change these classic lashes and put the colorful ones on there, that's what I did. I, I put them down so I can actually comfortably use both of my hands. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the C curl for the colorful lashes because I wanna put them almost in the bottom layer of her natural lashes so they can kind of pop up and look really cool when she opens her eye. Um, if you put it kind of in the middle layers, you can still mix in the same curl or choose to do a little bit less curly so they can kind of almost sit at its own level but not too much out. So when I place them, you guys will visually see better what I'm talking about. And when I'm using colorful lashes too, I don't want to use my black glue or my tinted glue. I want to use a clear glue so then it doesn't take away from my color. So I'm also going to switch my glue right now. So here is the transparent glue. And again, I'm using a glue ring because I like having everything really close to my hands and work area to her eyes and her face because it helps me go a lot faster. But if you guys don't like using glue rings or you prefer to put the lashes instead of the forehead next to you, you could definitely do that too. So I'm going to tape back her natural lashes first with the under eye patch, see if those hold. Um, in order for me to see the very bottom layer. And then if the under eye patch is kind of not strong enough for the amount of her natural lashes, then I'll use tape to tape it up. But if it is and it holds, then we'll just use the under eye patch. Okay, so that's pretty much all I did is I taped them up and I'm gonna place the colorful ones throughout these bottom layers, kind of like the ones that are already, you know, sticking out. And I'm gonna glue them underneath her natural lashes, but we still wanna make sure we're gonna isolate, right? And we're gonna follow our mapping. And these are the volume, Easy Fanning volume lashes, the our, our mega volume lashes, so it'll be a lot easier to create our fans with the colorful lashes but I'm um, since I switched to doing volume now my application tweezers are curved tweezers and not the straight tweezers because we apply with straight tweezers for classic but we apply for volume um, with curved tweezers that's to hold our fan nice and open now that I have my fan I'm gonna glue it underneath her natural lash remember I'm using the clear glue to not take away from the color of the colorful lash. Um, you wanna fan these lashes out for the for the highlights, but you don't wanna, I personally don't wanna fan them out too much because I do want them to be more like a highlight compared to blending in with the fan form. I do like to hold it in place for a second for it to dry before I let go to make sure that it's gonna stay where I need it to stay. 
If you guys need help with how to fan out these easy fanning volume lashes, there's a whole other video about that. We'll link that below. Make sure to check it out. But you can make nice V fans with them, even if you don't want the base to be square looking. Um, yeah, so check that out. When you do layers, do you always glue mm -hmm. on the bottom of the eyelash? No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just um, like to do like the last layer um so they can kind of like hug the natural lash so you mm. see the color from the bottom too oh, okay. um but generally if you can if like your client's natural lashes allow you i do like to glue the fans underneath mm -hmm. um i do feel like they last longer oh okay that was my next question yeah if they lasted longer yeah it's almost like they hug them you know mm -hmm. it's like it sandwiches the Oh, the natural The lash. natural lash, yeah. Do you recommend this glue shaker? Mm, I just manually do it, but... Okay. Yeah, if it helps you, you know. It'll I haven't, like, invested in one. I know, I I'm like, I just hand shake them, I've always have. Yeah, I do too, and if it's a good glue, that should be good enough, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, but right now, with my glue, uh, the reason why I kind of pause is my glue isn't sticking too good. Um... Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's bad, but I didn't write the date of when I opened it. Um, we usually want to have good practice and write the date mm -hmm. of when we open a certain glue, but I usually run out of it before the three months, so I stopped yeah. writing the date. But it's good practice to write it, so you know after three months it's not going to work too good. Yeah. Since I've worked with glues for so long, I can tell when it's not working mm -hmm. right. So um, it's not working right. So the well, first thing I'm trying to do is just shaking my glue really well and just kind of grabbing a new drop, see if that helps. And then if that doesn't either, then that's when I would just grab a new and glue. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it does make your life a lot harder if it's not right away sticking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see when I glue it, it's kind of like not drying too quickly and sliding mm -hmm. off. It tells me that it's maybe a little old. So let me grab a new one. And for the glues too, it depends how you store them. So you want to make sure you store them properly and not next to like a remover or a primer. It ends up lasting longer and better. Oh, really? Mm hmm You don't want to store it right next to it. You see, when I glued it, now it's drying nicely. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But the fan closed. So if the fan closes, um, I want to remove it because... Um, uh, oh, the reason why the fan closes is because these are the easy fanning. So if you don't hold it in place long enough for it to fully dry in that form, it will automatically close. So we want to make sure that we're holding it in place at least a couple seconds to make sure that it's not going to shift once we let go. So at this point, I did put a few about, I don't know, like half a centimeter apart. Um, throughout the eyes so I put like one half a centimeter another one another one another, another one so when I look at it with my mirror underneath I just want to make sure they're kind of easily distributed but I'm also gonna double check this at the very end once I'm done applying all her volume dark lashes okay because we'll also see a better contrast between them then if we need to add more or remove one we'll we'll visually see now we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, volume handmade fans okay we're gonna use the matte mink lashes and we're gonna self make our fans these are not easy to fan this does take um, either the pinching technique or fanning out on your strip technique or whichever technique you already know how to do to make your fans. And we're going to use the same length again. We're going to use the curl 0 0.03, but the lengths will be the same 11, 14, and 15. So you want to grab the bunch of eyelashes from its base. So you don't want to go all the way down, but you want to go maybe 
four to five milliliters above where the very bottom is. Then you want to take it out and put it next to your lash strip on the sticky part and make sure to leave the very ends out so off of that strip if you can see kind of like where I'm placing it then we're going to roll our, our tweezers over the sticky part of the eyelash strip so right about the midpoint of the actual eyelash fan in order to fan it out and open it up before we grab it and dip it in the glue so after you fan it make sure when you're grabbing it you close your tweezers really really tight to make sure that you grab all the hairs and lift it off the strip very slowly because if you don't do this it can fall apart and if your tweezers are not good or don't close all the way again it can fall apart you want to make sure you do that over and over until you perfect it obviously Now that we're mostly done applying the extensions throughout her eyes, um, we have only the inner and outer corners where I can add some more. But in order to do those, I like to use some tape so I could see those corners better. So we're going to use some tape to pull her eyelid to help us with the corners. So I like using the blue sensitive tape for the skin anytime I really am attaching something directly to her skin. It's because it peels off more easily without pulling her skin. But the way we're going to do that is we're going to put the little end or the little tip of the tape strip in the inner corner and the end I fold it over to have a little grip. And I'm going to pull, you see how when I pull like that? Um, maybe you see at this angle which is my angle but when I pull like that you could see that I'm going to see those inner corner lashes much better much easier to isolate so that's the purpose of that and we want to just stick the very tip so we can pull so you see now we can see all those natural lashes that don't have any extensions on them that we want to add a few fans on Okay, now that we are done applying, I'm going to go ahead and do a last brush and we're going to um, remove the taping and she can open her eyes so we can see what it looks like with her eyes open. So we could have probably even added even more of the teal color um for them to pop out more but they're nice and subtle they'll definitely show a lot more in the sunlight but that is our final look yay well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up like subscribe follow us on all social platforms we are on tiktok too now so make sure to check us out there my team of Awesome ladies do a great job with it. Um, we are all under Yegi Beauty, so just go do that. We try to have fun with what we do, and I hope you do too. And our goal is to spread the love and positivity of lashes. So anyways, see you guys on social media, hopefully. Bye!